Hi there, welcome back to another exciting video. I really wanted to show you guys a new Geometry Nodes tool that allows you to make tornadoes in seconds. It's a real-time tornado generator which is made available by Specular. He is also the creator of Self Fluids and these awesome tools. If you are thinking of getting this, then I will have the link to this page in the description below. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. I will show you how this generator works and how you can customize it. So I have opened a blender and you don't have to install anything. Just open the blend file that you got from Blender Market and you will see something like this. Here we have this tornado, we have this and this and this one. First of all, these tornadoes are shaped like this using curve. So if I select this, move it right here and then I will go over to modifiers panel and remove the geometry nodes modifier. You can see that the curve is right here. You can go into edit mode and customize the shape of the curve to whatever shape you want and the tornado will follow the shape. So I will go ahead and add geometry nodes and here you can see that. Let's see how you can customize every aspect of your tornado and make a totally different one. You select your tornado and go over to modifiers panel and here you will see a bunch of different settings that you can play with and everything is highly organized and fully clean. So first up we have speed. So if I just play my viewport, you can see the tornado is animated. But if you want to increase or decrease the speed of the tornado rotation, then you can lower it down and make it feel like it's a very big tornado. Then you have the random seed. You can switch directions. If you want the fire to come from top, you can do that. Then you have resolutions of the curls that are happening here. You can increase the layer count of the dust. Under this panel, you have materials. You can change the material from here or you can customize the existing one. You can change the color, control the opacity, flame intensity and flame height. Let's say you want your fire to begin when something blows up. So you can do that right from here. You can simply move it up and this is how this will go. And the good thing about this tool is that it works with both EV and cycles. This right now is EV and if I go into the rendered mode, you can see that this is in cycles now. EV, cycles. You have uh, extra material settings in which you can control the noise scale. You can see right here how it's affecting the tornado. Noise power and uh, a lot of these things. Let's say you want to fade this from the bottom, you can do that. Or if you want to fade this from the top, you can do that as well. Then we have geometry. And first up, we have twists. You can control the number of twists you want from here. We have scale width. You can make it very big and make it twisty. Just like that. I forgot to mention that you can change the color of the flame as well. You have these scale options, which you can control from here and you can see how it's changing the shape of our tornado. If you want to make the tip small, you can do that right here. And if you want to start tornado, you can do that right from here. Let's say you want your tornado to begin like that. You can do that as well. Same thing from the top to bottom. Now imagine how much time you're going to save with this. And lastly, we have particles which are these leaves and tree branches. And if you want to add your own particles, you can easily do that. Just simply add more assets in this tornado particles collection and you will have those. Then you can increase the amount of these, the scale and rotation of the particles, including random scale. So this is how this all geometry node tree works. But if you want to go too deep into it and want to learn how this all works, then you can just move your timeline up and go over to Geometry Node Editor. From here, you can see every single thing that is going behind this panel. That is all about this. And now I'm going to show you how you can add this generator to a blank scene or to another file. Well, all you have to do is go over to File, click on Append and locate the blend file that you have downloaded from Blender Market, which is this one. Double click on it. Go over to node trees and from here select the tornado generator node tree. Just click on append with the curve selected right here. Come over to modifiers panel, click on add modifiers, geometry nodes and select that tornado generator node group from here. 
and you will have your tornado right into your scene. And that is all for this video guys. Again I will leave the link to this and to his other amazing add-ons in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. If you like this video or you found it useful, you can give it a thumbs up. Also to stay tuned with my future uploads, do consider subscribing to my channel. Bye bye.